what's up guys in this video i'm going to be showing you how you can create a minimalistic intro in hit film express so let's start by creating a new composite shot and um, let's just rename this to well for this uh for this intro i'm going to be using two colors one is going to be yellow and purple but you can obviously use any color that you want so let's just rename this to yellow circles okay and click on okay then I'm going to create a new plane layer and uh, call this circle. I'm going to be using this yellow color. You can use any color from this window. Click on OK to apply it. And in the effects tab, I can search for the polar warp effect and apply it on this layer. I can get this circle shape in your uh, plane layer. And then we can go to polar warp. We can decrease the end radius. So we can just keep it somewhere around 160 to start with. And then we're going to create a rotation and range keyframes at the first frame of our animation. So let's just set the range to zero and rotation to zero. And at one second, I want both the rotation and range to be at 180. So let's just change that to 180. So now you can see that you have this kind of animation. Now let's select all these keyframes, convert it to manual Bezier. Now let's go to the rotation keyframes value graph. I'm going to select this second handle, hold the shift key and just drag it all the way to the left. And do the same thing with the range, go to value graph and hold the shift key, just drag it all the way to the left. So now your animation will start fast at the beginning and then gradually uh, slow down at the end. Like that. Now we can just duplicate this. So let's control D to duplicate it. I'm going to turn down its opacity just to see what I'm going to, I'm going to do with this. So we can go to polar warp and I can increase the end radius to around 315 or maybe 320. Um, and then we can move to the five to five frames forward. I'm going to select these keyframes and just, you know, put these first two at the fifth frame. And then we are going to again repeat the process. So just duplicate this go to effects polar warp, move five frames forward. And just you know place these keyframes at the tenth frame and I'm gonna increase the end radius as well. So let's set it to around 500. Again, duplicate this, and again I'm going to move five frames forward, select these keyframes and put it where the playhead is, and again increase the end radius to something like uh, maybe 720 something like that and then uh, we can duplicate it one last time and we can just go to polar warp uh, set the end radius to whatever the maximum value is so it's 1024 and again i'm going to move to 20th frame and just put all these keyframes at that position so now uh if we take a look at our animation we will have something like this so in the last layer you can see that we have these um, black area in the edges and the corners so we can just go to transform and just scale this up to around 108 and you can just get rid of that black area and now we can search for opacity and just crank that to 100 on all these layers okay so we have uh, this kind of animation now what I can do is I can just duplicate this composite chart and I can just um, rename this to purple because that's the color that I'm going to be using click on OK I'm going to double click on this composite chart I'm going to search for the fill color effect apply it on the first layer I'm going to set the blend amount 100 and pick this purple color from the color window and then I'm going to copy this fill color and apply it on all these four layers like that now we can create a new composite chart and call this main click on ok and i'm going to drag the purple and the yellow circle layer make sure the yellow is at the top and on the purple circle composite chart, i'm going to expand that go transform and set the rotation to 180 and now if we play this animation we'll have something like that Okay, now we'll create create the logo placeholder so I can just drag in the circle layer and I can apply the fill color on this. Set this to 100 and I can just again use this purple color. Obviously, you can choose any color you want. 
I'm going to use this color and let's just call this logo placeholder or something like that click on OK and again we are going to apply the polar warp effect on it to change it into a circle shape so let's just uh, decrease the end radius to something like 140 okay and then I want to animate this as well so we can go to transform and <clears throat> when create um, a keyframe at the 20th frame so create a scale keyframe set the scale to 0 and we can move 10 or 20 frames forward and we can set that back to 100 I'm gonna select these two keyframes convert it to manual bezier value graph and then we're gonna hold the shift key on the keyboard and just drag this handle all the way to the left by the way you can also create some bounce effect in it so if we go to the second keyframe we can set that to maybe like 105 and then if we move five frames forward we can set that back to 100 and so we'll have something like that so if we convert this to manual bezier we can just make a curve like this have kind of a simple bounce animation if you want to go with that you can do that as well now we can just drag in the logo into the timeline and we can just go to transform and scale it down like that and I want to animate it as well so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it down like that and I'm going to create a position keyframe let's create it at maybe at one second and two frames create a scale keyframe not the scale but the position keyframe and we can move 10 frames forward and we can set that to uh, we can also create a bounce animation on this so we can just move it a little bit up like that and move 10 or maybe five frames forward and we can back, bring that back to zero and can move all these keyframes to manual bezier so kind of have something like that but uh, it's really fast so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, gonna select these two I'm gonna you know increase the gap in between these keyframes so maybe I can just keep it somewhere over there we can also change the graph uh, to you know something like this we can create a curve like that and see if we can make it look better so yeah something like that okay so it looks good we can play around with the positioning of these keyframes so we can just maybe we can just move it a little bit forward so that you know it comes up real quick yeah it looks good uh, then I can as uh, if we move to the very first frame you can see that our logo is uh, already visible at our first frame and what I want to is I want this logo to be visible only in this blue and this purple shape we can just simply duplicate the logo placeholder and uh, we can go to effects and remove the polar war from it and just for the sake of the story I'm going to change the color of this layer to red just to differentiate it and by the way let's uh, you know what let's keep the polar warp and let's just simply change the fill color to red like that so now what I want to do is I want to like move forward and in time and then I'm gonna grab the ellipse mask tool so I can hit the E key on the keyboard or I can just click on this icon right there then I'm gonna move the mouse cursor in the middle hit the E key and I'm gonna click and hold hold the shift and the alt key on the keyboard I'm gonna create a shape like this and uh, you know what uh, <laughs> as I said you have to remove the polar warp from it so let's just remove that and if it's not uh, you know in the proper place so you can just use the selection tool and just you know use the arrow keys to move it up and down not the logo but the mask like that 
Okay, so now our mask is also going to animate like that. And now we're going to apply the set matte effect on the logo, but it's not going to work. So to make it work, we need to uh, right click on the logo placeholder. And I can just rename this as well. So let's just um, rename this to logo placeholder matte. Click on OK. And I'm going to right click on it and click on make composite shot. And we're going to click on the current timeline and move with layer option and click on OK. Now if we go back to our main, we can hide the logo placeholder matte composite shot. And now we can apply the set matte effect on the logo layer. Set the set matte to set the source layer of the set matte to logo placeholder matte composite shot. Set the blend to subtract and also make sure you click on the invert checkbox. So now if you can see we are we'll have our logo which is only going to be visible in this uh, in this shape. So that's pretty much it. Now we can simply add motion accents to it. I have already created a video on how to create some. You can watch that on my channel. So I have a couple of these already saved. So I'm going to bring this lines composite shot onto the timeline. And I am going to uh, just drag it and you know move it to around one second in time and I can just also scale this down like that uh, we can even move it behind this uh, logo composite shots but I'm just gonna leave it as it is for now we can also rotate it see we have that okay let's just scale this down bit more like that maybe we can put it right here we can create duplicates of this and uh, just put it somewhere over there rotate them you know play around with the scale make it big uh, something like that and we can add a few more so I can go to shapes and uh, we have these three shapes uh, we can just toggle off these so let's just select this circle shape and I can just drag it to the timeline and we have this and I want to it to be right over here we'll transform and scale it down like that and I can also move it um, below the logo so maybe somewhere over there Let's see yeah somewhere over there so now we have something like that maybe this should be see so you just have to play around with this and I just want this to come late so you get the idea of what I'm trying to create just create some motion accents and just you know uh, drag them into your main animation so similarly I'm going to drag this waves uh, that I've created so I can just uh, go to transform and scale it down as well I can move it behind this logo uh, it's completely uh, up to you up to your creativity how you want this so I think this is the wrap for this tutorial that's how we can you know create this animation in side hit film express so thank you for watching this video make sure you like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one